we're really interested in how bacteria cause disease and how we can stop them. Um, and our trick, I guess, is that we make our bacteria glow in the dark. So we take genes from creatures that naturally glow, like bacteria that live in the sea um, or the fireflies, and we put those genes inside of really nasty superbugs and we make them glow in the dark. Um, and the reason this is really useful is it means that we can use light instead of um, plating the bacteria out into petri dishes to tell us how many there are, we just measure light. Um, so we get a, an answer really, really fast. It's a chemical reaction and it requires um, the cells to be alive. So it means that if the cells aren't alive anymore, then they stop glowing. So we can get a really quick answer of whether the bacteria are dead or alive, just again looking for light. So it means that if we have a, you know, we're looking for new antibiotics. And so if we find something that looks interesting and we can add it to our bacteria and then say very quickly, ah, yes, that looked like it was something that will kill them. We would start with um, bacteria that are growing just in, in, in liquid broth um, and we can plate them out into these things we call 96 well plates so we can take very small amounts of bacteria that are glowing, very small amounts of our potential drugs, add them together and then we measure light and if the bacteria are dying then the lights go down. So this is our top concentration, so our highest concentration. And then this is the bacteria that have got no drugs in them. So on this scale, blue means essentially dead um, and uh, orange means alive. The work that Susie and her team are doing is, is really crucial in the fight against bacterial disease, particularly because the techniques that she's developing using bioluminescence really accelerate a lot of the progress towards new drugs. In particular, we can now look at bacteria both in the lab and in the body in new ways. And this accelerated way of looking at the um, bacteria really helps us test whether some of the new treatments being developed are, are really effective. And the drugs which can intersect it. <coughs> Well, we have a long-term interest in the development of new drugs for tuberculosis, and so we have an interest in uh, methodologies for evaluating how these drugs are effective. 
and TB in particular is a very slow growing bacterium and any method we can use that can speed up the testing systems is of great value to us and we collaborate with them in that regard. Well it's very useful because you can use it across a variety of technologies. You can use it simply to look at how the bacteria themselves grow freely. You can look at how bacteria can infect an animal and you can measure the luminescence through the skin of the animal and you can just uh, capture that in real time and watch the growth of the uh, bacterium over time.